Hello, it's me, Regina T. Green. I hope that all is well with you. I wanna take a few minutes of your time talking about the armor of God. God has been talking to me around spiritual warfare, deliverance, and helping people get set free. There are a lot of believers that are not free. You're in the churches and you're dancing around and you're shouting and you're, and you're praising and you're worshiping, but you're still bound, you're in bondage. And I just wanna share something with you because this came up. I get the question all the time. When you pray powerful prayers and you pray God back his word, do you seem to get attacked more? Well, here is what I wanna share with you. I wanna read Ephesians 6 and then I'm going to share something with you and then I'm gonna do a prayer, if that's okay with you. If you've been experiencing the backlash, retaliation, it seems like, of the enemy, I wanna share with you how you can um, Kind of calm some of that down and hit the spirit hit the enemy in the spiritual realm okay um if you understand spiritual warfare you know that it is really an attack to come and make you think thoughts other than god thoughts so that you can begin to act other than what the word of god says okay it's an attack from the enemy so ephesians 6 the armor of god it says finally be strong in the lord and in his might in his mighty power Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. So that you can stand. Put on the armor of God. That's the first thing I want to share with you. Put on the armor of God every single day. Because when you go to when you wake up, the enemy is like, oh, this woman right here or this man right here is praying some prayers, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give her any type of rest or give him any type of rest. I'm gonna come even harder because she's trying to unseat me in the realm of the spirit. And so you've already won the victory because you understand that the fight is in the spiritual realm. And so every single day you put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the devil's schemes. All right. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. You're not fighting a physical person. You're not you're fighting principalities. You're fighting rulers. You're fighting the authorities and powers of the dark world. That means, of course, you're going to get some battles. Of course, the enemy's going to turn up on you because it is done in the spirit. And you can go unseat him in the spirit by going in, putting on that armor, knowing that the blood of Jesus has your back, knowing that you have the word of God to speak against the enemy so the enemy will flee is what the word says, right? We saw it. And when Jesus went into the wilderness, he spoke the word and the devil left and the angels came and uh, ministered to him, right? You have to do the same thing. We're here on the earth as, as disciples, as God's voice, as his, as his hands and feet in the earth. That's who you are. You got to know who you are in this battle. You can't be whining and crying that the enemy beat me up. Get you, get yourself, uh, put on the armor of God and get yourself in a, a, a mentoring group or a community of believers and prayer warriors who can knock the devil out with the word in the spiritual realm. Anyway, um, Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the de day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground Af and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place with your feet fitted with, with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Okay, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This is how you, this is how you go in and begin to uh, prevent being hit so hard by the enemy. You're putting on the armor of God because the enemy cannot tell between you, nor cannot tell between you and, and, and Jesus. Can't tell the difference between you and, and, and you and God when you put on that armor because you're coming with the same fire of God that's it that God has placed in you to set the to just like God called down fire uh, and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. You go say, God, in the name of Jesus, I call down spirit, send down spiritual fire to burn down every altar, every covenant, every evil wickedness and spirit and high spiritual principalities in high places. I unseat you now. I burn. I send spiritual fire to burn you down. I uproot you in the name of Jesus. That's how you come against the devil. And as long as you got your armor on, guess what? You keep on hitting the devil in the face. And so I'm just going to share what I do every 
single day when it when I wake up and I hadn't done it every day like before but now I know that because I'm praying these type of prayers the enemy's going to try to fight me and so I need to be prepared with what God has told me to be prepared with and how he has told me to go into the war so the first thing I do is I plead the blood of Jesus over myself over my family over my mind over my children over my property my home my rooms Everything that belongs to me, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus and I'm declaring that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. This happens every day and you need to get into the habit of doing it. And I hate to say what you need to do, but honestly, this is for your benefit. Get into the habit of pleading the blood of Jesus over yourself and your family and everything that you own, over your property, over your vehicles, over your immune system, over your body, over your finances, over your ministry, over your business, over your career, over your mind. Plead the blood of Jesus. Declare Psalm 91 over yourself, over everything that you just did. Declare it out loud, not under your voice. You hit the devil out loud. The enemy is not always pre all present, all powerful or all knowing. He does not know your thoughts. Therefore, when you're praying these powerful prayers, you can't pray them to yourself in love. You got to pray them out loud. And here is the prayer that I pray. So after I plead the blood of Jesus, I begin to go and, um, I pray before, well, first I enter into the, enter into the, the presence of the Lord with, th with thanks, right? But we're talking about spiritual warfare, so I'm not going into a whole prayer teaching. That's another teaching, but really quick. Uh, this is what I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray in faith and I put on your whole armor that I may stand against the wiles and schemes of the devil. I put on your helmet of salvation. I put on the breastplate of righteousness, the righteousness of Christ Jesus. I girdle, I put on the girdle of truth because I know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I put on the holiness of God. I put on the sandals of the gospel of peace so I can stand on the solid rock of my salvation, who is Jesus Christ, my Lord. Above all, I put on the shield of faith to quench every fiery dart sent every spear arrow and missile that the devil shoots my way lord i pick up the the, the precious sword of the spirit to slice and dice with the power of the holy spirit to stand all the days of my life on offense in jesus name that's how you go in and you prevent some of this uh these hits that the enemy has against you I hope that this helps. My name is Regina Green, and I am excited to chat with you and to help you to be able to move to your next level. Uh, follow me on YouTube, Regina T. Green. Go ahead and subscribe and get the notifications. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.